And new at 6 today on Capitol Hill, the head of a local addiction recovery center is testifying before Congress. The executive director of FAVOR was invited to speak because of the success of this program. Yeah, you might be surprised to learn it's a free resource to not just addicts, but their families. And the Greenville based program has made such progress, it's expanding. Two years ago, Gina Sayer discovered her son was addicted to the painkillers that he started taking after colon cancer surgery. It was worse than when he had the cancer, the pain I felt knowing I can't help him. She says it wasn't until she found the Addiction Recovery Center favor that she realized why other treatment centers hadn't worked. All I got was a report card. I, the family was not included in anything. Here, it's the family included and the family getting better. Karen Riley, a recovery coach at Favor, says their program is unique in a few ways. It's free, unending, and works for addicts who don't like authority. So they are in charge of, of helping us to work with them, to, to work on their own recovery, how they, they see the recovery progressing. Which at times can be controversial, since that may involve an addict dialing back on heroin, but still using lesser drugs or medicated assistance like Andrew Bethay. They really work on you, but they work on you in a positive manner. It's not, it's not a, like you say, a restrictive, you know, governed. <laughs> that method and the group sessions have become so popular, Favor Greenville has helped more than 8,000 addicts and family members since its inception in 2013. Favor extends far beyond its headquarters here in Greenville. They meet in 35 locations in the upstate, just started a new family session in Spartanburg, and will even go to people's homes if they're resistant to coming in. And today on Capitol Hill, the executive director testified about the progress to help grow the model in other communities. They stood by him, and to this day, it's two years later, they're still counseling him every week. And Favor gets its funding from private donations and grants. For more on the Recovery Center and its program, 